Guys, hope all is well. Today's June 10th, 2024. I'm at a building that I come to a lot. We've been through four inverters, compressors. This unit, we were here to check the charge because we thought it might be low, it was freezing. So they had it turned off. You got duck socks inside with air handlers. Um, in order for the air handler to run inside, you have to have the power on out here. So I went inside, dipped the power on, came out here, dipped the power back on, right? So as soon as I dipped the power on over there, now it's off. We got a nice little beautiful pop, 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 pop and smoking. This compressor, believe it or not, it's holding pressure, but apparently it sounded like rocks when it was running. And uh, we're gonna check it, obviously, to ground after I uh, remove some wires. This thing got nice and cooked. I, I loosened this already. I don't think anything. Let's see what we got after I remove them. But um, like I said, there's major, major voltage issues here. Unless we've got a short here coming in because your yellow comes to here. Oh, uh, actually, which wire melted, Nick? The orange? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, your yellow comes in, comes through and then comes down to your compressor, which is right here. So um, let's see what we have. Like I said, for ye years and years, these are 2016 units and you do get rub outs as we, as everything. HVACR, Steve, my man, will show on his videos. I learned a lot from him, but usually on a low voltage, but I mean, it could happen on high voltage. Why not, right? We're gonna check all that, but for now, I wanna see this grounded or if it's not. Basically, um, we've got open line. Well, no, we have three phase, we've got 11. And then here we've got open line. Let's see if we get anything, nothing. And then here, five, Okay, and you know three phase is supposed to be equal, and then we're gonna go to ground. But we'll still check on the copper, come up here. And then we'll check on the copper too. So L1 to ground. It's grounded. Thing smoked, bro. Take a hammer to it. Just kidding. All right, let's see. And then, like I said, it melted all the way up. Boom. Down, 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 down. This one's good, I checked it. Crazy. And then this is the compressor that's actually, this one here is the actual low one. Standing pressure was 156. This one I checked before standing pressure, before I turned it on was like 238. So this is what we found here. This little guy, if you can see it, yep, right there. And then here, these two touched, which this may have been a cause of a melting, but these were melted together, your compressor wires. So you had here to here, and then here with the famous carrier and their rub outs. Here's another one, look at this one, Nick. My son's with me today working. Let's see what I'm doing. Another rub out here. Crazy, bro. Unbelievable. I bet you, yeah, just sitting there. Unbelievable. And it's short. Oh, another one. And another one. Who did that? That was P. Diddy, right? Did he do it or no? Holy, yo. Oh, no, but this happened after the, this happened after the fact. But the, this one right here was a, clearly a rub out. Pause. So, when this all happened, when it smoked. It's crazy, bro. Damn. Bro, 
closer to. This had 159 standing pressure. This was the one that we were actually working on. And uh, when we started to go ahead and check the charge properly, that's what happened. I mean, talk about craziness. Just ring. I just want to make sure the high voltage, any no wires were touching each other at all. So go, yeah, now go yellow to brown. And then go brown to orange. Here on ring. That's okay. So I just wanted to make sure none of these guys were touching. But all right, let's get back. Close this up. Um, we'll have to write this compressor up. And on this unit, guys, that's the bad one. On this unit, I'm checking first and second stage. This is my first stage. This is my second stage. That's my first stage, right? First stage, second stage. That's how I hooked it up. Not normally, but it's running good. But let's see how long it runs like this. Let's see how low it comes. We got 41 on the evaporator, so. First stage, second stage. You're running good. We're just running first stage. Yeah, that's I like to take my R off first. Take the, the other one off and then the R touches something. Donezo. We have Nick right now cleaning the coils because these things are in bad shape, so. That one's not bad, but look at this. I mean, these things are plugged to the nines. So he's going through them. Started there. Um, yeah, they're in bad shape. Another one. And another one. I mean, that'll help do some compressor damage too, obviously. Keep your coils clean. Oh, Cottonwood. Cottonwooddrive.com. My Nick went to uh, my son. Nick went to Henry Abbott Tech in Danbury, Connecticut. But he's going to. Uh, he went on to university to college. I don't know if he wants to do HVAC, but he does it in the summers. For now, and um, I pre I can appreciate that. It's Nick, say what up. What's going on? What's going on? He says. So all right, guys, we're all set. Nicholas clean these things perfect. They're they're phenomenal. Went up and down all of them. Um, it's you didn't clean that one, which is kind of because it's it's a uh, failed unit that they're replacing. But he's a good kid. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.